everybody is not jam welcome back to another review today i'm going to be reviewing this tiny keyboard from retech and this is wireless obviously because of its size you can probably tell i won't go into too much detail because there's not a lot to talk about this thing but in general and overall i think this is a really great keyboard but it's a little cumbersome to use so without out of the way let's get into the review uh, we start by taking a look around the device now as you can see at the front we've got a tiny little touchpad uh, and we've also got all the keyboard keys and a lot of function keys assigned to each key so the keyboard is really soft and it has, it's got a nice feedback um, it also got a backlight and at the top of the corner you can see that they've got a couple of leds which show you if a shift is on or if um, it's actually sending or receiving data and whatnot it's some um, pretty hand handy and it also has the body indicator there now on the left side of the device you just got the on and off button as well as the mini usb to charge the keyboard which is um pretty usual now at the top you've got nothing but there is a little slot uh, to place the um, usb dongle receiver and that they've uh, that, com that comes with this but apparently mine actually broke um so i don't really use that um slot but either way it's pretty useful and you know if you if you can't use this wirelessly through bluetooth which most of you in our days cannot because it is bluetooth 2 so it's not going to be able to support any android device with bluetooth 4 and stuff so you know it's not gonna work you can't just use, use this through otg and it works perfectly fine now on the right side there's a uh, there's a laser pointer and on the bottom there's a button to activate that and this is useful for presentations and that and i don't really use this at all but it's there just so you know at the back we've got a shiny surface and a little bit of uh, information now this is the first model so there might have been an upgrade yes there are, actually has been um, but I'm not going to talk about the new one that's out because um, it, it might look exactly the same except it's got a better Bluetooth and stuff and you know it's um, almost exactly the same I guess you can say. So this review sort of applies to both. Now in terms of experience I really do love the keyboard but the only thing I hate about is the trackpad. It's way too small and it's way too sensitive. Now I'm guessing Retech, the company who made this thought it would be a bad idea to you know it's, since the key, uh, touchpad is really small we should increase the sensitivity and i've tried this without mouse acceleration and i think it still has mouse acceleration i'm not sure but it still is really annoying to use and if you're trying to draw a circle uh, as i'm showing you over here on paint you can't i don't know it just doesn't really seem to be, seem to be doing it. it's really tough um so you know that's the only thing i hate but you can't you can't sort of turn this um 90 degrees so you can use it as a like a tv demo and um it's more comfortable that way but in general i don't think this is really cool um but you know you got a touch pad it's right there it's um, it's better to have it better than nothing you know but it's really not a good one even though it's useful now the keyboard does light up it does have a backlight on all of the keys it's not equal but uh, i guess you can see the keys it does the job so i have no gripe about it um in general i think this is a great keyboard uh like i said i don't have a lot of talk to talk about it does come in at 20 pounds that's why i bought it for but I, i'm pretty sure it's dropped in price a lot um now are you i um, got this for the fun of it i think i don't really remember i got this a really long time ago now for gaming or anything this is not good at all and i think i got it because I wanted to use it with my Windows tablet and I thought it would have been cool. It works perfectly as long as you use the dongle because, you know, Windows tablet and all that are the same with Bluetooth 4 and it doesn't really support the Bluetooth because it's got 2, not 2.1. It's got 2. You need at least 2.1 or above to sort of be able to connect to uh, connect with the latest devices because they've got Bluetooth 4 or above. As much as I like it, I have to say it's not really ideal. Um, for those of you who just want to move or you want to, uh, do some web browsing or something maybe watch a little bit of movies on your pc while you're on the sofa yes you can hook it up in case you're wondering um then this is okay you know you can use this the typing is perfectly fine i have no uh, no problem with that it's just the uh, mouse and mouse is really important i believe it's more important than the keyboard um and this touchpad is really horrendous i really don't like it but you know i, I guess it just gets the job done so it's okay with me um honestly i don't think you should get this is even though it's dropped down in price it's just a little cumbersome to use thanks to the uh, placement of the keyboard keypad over there i mean the touchpad but in general uh if you are going to use it uh, with your ps3 yes you can but you know it's not really good you're better off just using a controller and stop being ridiculous with the 
keyboard kind of thing but you can i guess you can use it for typing and stuff but don't take my word on that i haven't really tried it on the ps3 and stuff but it works perfectly fine just like it advertises but you know it's a little cumbersome and it's not really nice to hold thanks to the touchpad even though it's small you can't try to reach over to the keys and i have no problem with that but honestly i don't think you should get this uh unless you're just really curious on how it's like and then you go ahead I, I'm, i'm not gonna stop you but yeah um that's it for this video it's a least it's a little cheap keyboard um you're just best off getting a normal size keyboard it's gonna be a lot more easier to type on and that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you again in a different video